Financial advisors in the United States of America manage over $30 trillion. trillion. Dollars. And guess what they're doing? They're rotating into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. The absolute fervor over Bitcoin and Bitcoin ETFs is, is unreal. The Ethereum ETF is already matching a lot of that energy. So sure, we can go out and buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all these other cryptocurrencies, but let's try to look at the situation from an older investor point of view, as well as an institutionalized investor point of view, and above all, a financial advisor point of view. They think these things are gonna go up. They wanna rotate portfolios into them. They want to move new cash into these positions. How are they even gonna be able to do that? Do they have the means in their systems to go and buy a coin like Bitcoin, right? The firm's gonna say probably no. Like, okay, well, we're gonna buy Bitcoin, but who, who's gonna hold it? They gotta figure out a custodian. And, and there's all these different obstacles. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to an ETF, an exchange traded fund. So this essentially gives you that exposure, but they're doing it in their traditional manner. They buy it just like a stock. I mean, I mean, it, it, it is a stock, basically. Really, as far as everyone's concerned, right? You open the Robinhood app or SoFi or whatever, Fidelity, Schwab, and which, by the way, we got links for those if you want to support the channel. Uh, but the point here being is that easily accessed. Every year for the last six years, Bitwise has run a survey of their views on cryptocurrency. With the ETFs and now an incoming administration that has a positive point of view on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, it has changed dramatically. Even in 2023, things were trending much more positively overall. Imagine what this survey would say for 2024 if it was conducted here at the end. Imagine what this survey will say in 2025. The point here again being is that there's literally billions of dollars in route, right? If the U.S. starts really following through and buying Bitcoin, having a Bitcoin strategic reserve, buying right a huge chunk of BTC, it's going to be crazy. And Bitcoin's doing well, probably going to continue doing well. Ethereum is finally getting some positive movement, historically still pretty bad, but it's trending in a very good direction, probably going to do really well uh, with this absolute landscape shakeup. But what's next, right? Because that's what people are going to say. That's what they're going to want. Enter a huge wave of cryptocurrency ETFs, right? Insert whatever your favorite coin is, like a Solana ETF or even a Cardano ETF, an XRP ETF, these old coins, a Dogecoin ETF would be pretty funny, honestly, that's crazy. Uh, and then an ETF that has an index of just straight cryptocurrencies, right? Buy this ETF, get exposure to these 10 different cryptocurrencies. Grayscale did a thing like this, but they have a bunch of trash in there. Uh, so that it's just, it's not really a good buy, uh, among other things, they're not financial advice before they try to sue me. Go, go, go float yourself, dude. We talked about the DeFi stock a while ago. That was a really cool opportunity to review that. Uh, this, in a way, is trying to accomplish some of those things. And that's been doing pretty well, thankfully. Uh, obviously, there's alternatives to just like the BTC ETFs, like Bitcoin mining stocks, among other things. Uh, before you know it, we'll see the first publicly traded Dogecoin mining company. Maybe I should be the guy to do that. Maybe, that, maybe that's my time. But seriously, looking forward beyond that, right? You think of like, oh, what's the next like Coinbase listing, right? What's the next shit coin that's going to be listed on Binance? I, I don't know if this will necessarily happen, but if it trends that direction, what if it becomes like, oh, what's the next crypto ETF going to be? Okay. And then the rumors circulate, this, that, whatever. And then that coin absolutely rockets based on that. And then the ETF hits, hits the market. It pulls a classic ETF move. It dumps. And then it doubles in price or whatever. And it could just be an interesting development here in the cryptocurrency stock financial investing sphere. This has never been possible before. Last crypto bull run, there were not Bitcoin ETFs. Okay. This is unprecedented. We've never seen these things. We've never dealt with these things. We've never seen how they perform. The bottom line is though, it's pretty obvious. If Bitcoin keeps climbing in price, ETFs will keep climbing in price. 
and it is going to pave the way for other cryptocurrencies to follow suit because at some point bitcoin is going to be uh, at this rate right well over a hundred thousand dollars and people are going to start to feel like well i'm never gonna be able to own that or afford that uh so it's like you're, you're owning bitcoin becomes a pipe dream uh and then you, you say okay well i'll get a marginal ownership through a bitcoin etf that's one route right but the other route is going to say okay well what's the next bitcoin What's a Bitcoin alternative that is younger, right? So people start looking at things like Ethereum. Then they start looking at other cryptocurrencies. And, uh, you know, I'm really just kind of thinking, you know, try to analyze this and understand, look at the fundamentals, look at the directions, look at the trends here. Where are we going? What is the next move? Because I'm, I'm happy with my positions. I'm in some good positions, but I'm also looking for what's next because Bitcoin having an absolutely parabolic pump, right? It brings on the altcoin market because at some point Bitcoin rips and then Ethereum and all the other altcoins start to rip, you know, historically speaking, uh, in 2021, even the worst coins that were still active hit a new all time high. Will that prove to be true here again? I don't know. Right. I, I, I back hold some cryptocurrencies like, uh, let's take like Cadena, for example, it's still trading well under a dollar a coin. It's all time high is at like $27. If that went to an all-time high, oh my gosh, I would be so ecstatic. I would turn several grand into nearly quarter million dollars, right? That's like that, like, oh my gosh, are you serious? That's crazy type money. Uh, and, and you best believe I'm going to be taking profits because uh, these markets rip and then they come plummeting down and sure, they hit a new all-time high. And then normally their low is higher than the previous lows, right? But there's this huge window. I crypto all day, every day. And if I can hit this market right, uh, I will continue to just trade all day, every day for the rest of my life and, and hopefully not worry, not stress about many things. And uh, I'll just have my stack of cash that I trade with and I get into positions in bear markets and uh, hopefully into other launches and projects early, right? And you understand all that probably if you've been working on, you know, investing and whatever. And again, it's not an investment advice. I'm just sharing my plan here because uh, the the whole market has changed. The sentiment has changed. The administration is changing. Everything is changing. So I am deleting my current ideas, plans, snapshot, right, of what's been working, what's next, all that bullshit. See you later. This absolutely necessitates a full new rework, new baseline. I, I need to understand that yesterday's game plan doesn't work anymore. We're playing a new team, right? The whole sport's freaking changed, right? That's the kind of scenario we're dealing with. I am reworking, reloading to aim to be more successful, leaning on my experience of nearly the last decade, right? I started with essentially no money, no experience, and I've worked really hard in that period to make progress. And I'm happy with what I've done. I'm happy with my progress, right? But your boy's trying to retire and I ain't there yet. So I'll continue pushing, making moves. This is where they make the jokes and the memes and the posts. It's like, oh, we locking in. Oh, oh yeah, it's time to lock in. You been messing around? Uh, no more, at least not for me. It's game time. I'm serious. I'm, about, I'm trying to have some fun. I'm trying to make some moves. I'm, I'm trying to make plays here. So, hey, if that sounds fun to you, Subscribe to the Bosco and YouTube channel. Stick around and watch me on this crazy crypto journey. This is 10 seconds of tales. We close out every video with this super pup. Uh, she kickstarted the Bosco coin journey. It was crazy back then. Uh, we thought we were going to lose her. She pulled through. I was so thankful for every day I get to spend with her. Uh, on that note, I hope that you find something to be thankful for today. It's easy to get caught up in this. And sure, we're chasing gains, right? We want more Bitcoin, we want more money, we want all this bullshit, right? And all that's great, but all that does is potentially hopefully add to your life. It does not uh, create your life. It does not bring you straight happiness. Uh, it's not that simple. So remember, and I used to think this was a little cheesy, right? But every day is a blessing. Uh, it, it is. It is. Be thankful for that. And I'm thankful for you if you're a subscriber. And if you're not, get the hell out of here and never come back until you're ready to subscribe. Speaking of earning passive income with mining and things like that, and, and I may be chasing these solar dreams and... <laughs> You thought the video was over, but it's not because I just wanted to share with you that uh, I, I have equity in a company called Quantum Expedition, and they're working hard to be the next big publicly traded Bitcoin mining farm. They're focused on using green energy, and maybe you're interested in mining, but even if you had solar power or whatever else, you don't want to do it at home. That's where Quantum Expeditions comes in. Uh, you can grab equity in their company 
from anywhere from 100 up to $2,500 without being an accredited investor. And if you are, you can invest obviously well beyond that. So check them out with our link out in the video description below. Uh, I'm very hopeful for where they could take this in the future. If you have any questions about them, drop them down in the comments below. Uh, they watch our content, which is pretty cool.